morning. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of time to introduce ourselves. First of all, this is uh, Richard Stalvey. He is the engagement partner on this job, and I'm Robert Elliott. And uh, we are with Fowler, Holly, Rambo, and Stalvey here in Valdosta, Georgia. And uh, we are your independent auditors, and we audit your financial statements. Uh, in front of you, you have the audit document. Uh, it's a very extensive document. And, and I'm just going to hit the high spots today. I'm not going to sit here and four year read to you. I just want to kind of point out a few things and hopefully this will be in fast and it'll be informative to you. Uh, I'd like to start off on page one. If the document, I have time to turn there. It will be our audit report, which will be right up front. This is our independent auditor's report and uh, it states that we have audited the financial statements for the Lowndes County Board of Health as of June 30, 2012 and that we have performed our audit in accordance with generally accepted auditing standards. And our responsibility as auditors is to express an opinion on the financial statements of the Board of Health. And based on our audit, our opinion is located in the third paragraph of that uh, document there on page one. Uh, and uh, it says that opinion represents fairly in all material respects the financial position and changes in the financial affairs for the Lowndes County Board of Health this is June 30, 2012. And, uh, in audit terms, this is known as an unqualified opinion, meaning that the financial statements give a fair and true view of the results of the operations and the financial reporting framework with reasonable assurance. Uh, it is the best type of opinion that an auditee, which is y'all, can receive from an external auditor, which is us. Uh, there's other board plate language in the report that on the second page, it also describes other procedures that were performed during our audit, and it also mentions the schedule of federal awards in the U.S. Office of Management and Budget and Circular A-133. Uh, these are items that are in conjunction with a single audit, and uh, I will cover that later in this presentation. On pages three through six is what's known as the management's discussion and analysis, or MDNA as it's frequently called. Uh, this is a very informative, condensed, and encapsulated presentation of information and uh, the financial, financial results of the entity that is prepared by management. Uh, I will not cover all of this information. Uh, however, on page six, I kind of thought it was good because the Department of Public Health, uh, they require budgets throughout the year, and of course, you can amend them. Uh, what the uh, Board of Health, their expenditure is exactly what was budgeted, which I think is, in these days, extremely outstanding. Uh, I'd like to go now to page 7 and page 8. These are the uh, meat of the financial statements. I just want to kind of go over them with you. First of all, is the statement of net assets for the primary government, or in a, in a commercial accounting, it'd be called the balance sheet. Uh, I'd like to start with the assets, start with the cash and cash equivalents. $1,731,346. Due from others is $68,230. Due from other governments, which is primarily the Department of Public Health, is $734,617. Uh, capital assets, net of accumulated depreciation, was $552,102 for total assets of $3,086. $3,086.295. Uh, liabilities due to other governments, which is primarily from operating advances from the Department of Public Health, was $428,292. And then you had current and non-current uh, compensated absences payable of $336,169 and $253,601 respectively for total liabilities of one million eighteen thousand and sixty two dollars you take your assets minus your liabilities and you will get your net assets and they are comprised of investment and capital assets five hundred and fifty two thousand one hundred two dollars restricted assets mainly for program use is one million one hundred forty two thousand six hundred twenty eight dollars and unrestricted is three hundred seventy three thousand five hundred three dollars for total net assets of two million sixty eight thousand $233. Turning the page to page 8, this will be the statement of activities 
or we like to say commercial accounting, which this is governmental accounting, but it's similar to an income statement. You had your charges for services of $1,011,726 and operating grants, contributions, and interests of $11,961,670. That total revenue would be $12,973,390. Your expenditures was $13,176,793. That would yield expenditures over revenues of $203,397. So uh, that basically, in a nutshell, is just you can dig deep in those statements and you can find where these numbers come from. But that was just a highlight. Uh, I want to make you aware of on pages 12 to 22 is a uh, footnote disclosure. Those are very informative and they're there for you to read in reference to uh, in your time. Uh, instead of going an inch wide and a mile, you need to go an inch wide and a mile deep instead of the opposite. So they're really descriptive of your financial statements and they explain where these numbers come from, the accounting policies of the entity. 